everyone, my name is Nancy and I am really excited for this video. So I recently have been getting a lot more into fantasy and I wanted to start reading a lot more adult fantasy books. And so during my time of watching a bunch of booktube videos about fantasy, um, of course the big name that comes up is Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> Never read any of his books, I've seen a few and gotta admit they're a little intimidating so then when i learned about his world about the cosmere i was even more intimidated nonetheless a lot of people love these books so i really wanted to give them a try so i started watching a bunch of videos on what people recommend to start with the two main books that came up were first the mistborn trilogy so the final empire and warbreaker which i think it's a standalone or currently it's the only book but i think there will be a few more so warbreaker and the final empire so the book that I've picked actually came in today and I ordered from the book depository because I am a sucker for the uh, UK covers of these books. They are so nice. So what book did I choose? Oh, Shizney's. Shizney's, I don't know. And the book that I chose final empire so the mistborn trilogy oh my god it's not as big as i oh never mind i saw the page number <laughs> it goes up to the 600s so it is actually monday and uh my summer classes start um next monday so i have exactly a week to get as much reading as i can before i have school work to worry about so i have one week of freedom left and so let's see if i can read this book in a week but yes so let this um, Brandon Sanderson reading vlog begin. So a little update, it's like about to be 3 in the morning, but I read a little bit of The Final Empire and I am loving it. It is so good. I've been taking my time with it because I've been annotating it a lot and even on the side I have like a little sheet of paper where I just put notes. Hopefully I can wake up at a reasonable hour tomorrow to keep reading. So, it is currently Wednesday afternoon. Little recap, um, Monday I didn't get to start reading until very late at night, and so I didn't get to read as much as I wanted to. Yesterday, I had a lot of things on my to-do list. I ran some errands, I filmed my May wrap-up, started editing it, and then most of the morning today, Wednesday, I was just working on my channel, made an intro, made a new outro, and I've just been editing, um, trying to get my wrap-up ready f to upload um, later or tomorrow. So I haven't read anything, but before I do keep on reading, I just wanted to update on what I have read. So I left off on page 103 yesterday. I am really enjoying this book. I feel like this is the first book in a really long time that keeps me engaged the entire beginning. I feel like there are no slow parts that kind of get me a little bit disinterested. I've enjoyed every single bit of this. I also really like um, Brandon Sanderson's writing. I feel like it doesn't feel a lot of info dumpy. I like that a lot of what you learn is either through dialogue or through like a character's thoughts and it feels pretty natural. Unlike other books that kind of just throw a bunch of information at you, <clears throat> write a player one. But before I move on, I just want to state a few predictions. Reen. Vin's half-brother. From what Vin has described of what he taught her, I feel like he knew or suspected that she was a misborn and either A, he was really hard on her and strict and gave her a bunch of points to always remember like um, everyone betrays you as a way to help her through that or B, it might be a tactic to keep her from finding out what she truly is, the powers that she has because he sees something wrong with that or he doesn't like it. So yeah, so either good or bad basically is what I'm trying to say for my predictions of Reen. Also that object that Vin mentioned, like the piece of obsidian um, that her brother always had, is that gonna end up being something that has given her a little bit of power in the past? I don't know. I'm really enjoying all the characters and everything that's happening. I am excited to keep going. Once I'm finished with my to-do list for today, I will dedicate the rest of the night to reading a little bit more.
finished editing, ate some food, now I'm uploading my May wrap up, and so it's time to read. Oh my god, the Alamanti is so cool. <laughs> Earlier in the book, when Kelsier used um, his allomancy to, to rob Lord Venture, I was so confused. I was like, I don't know if I'm keeping up with everything he's explaining of how he's using the metals, but the whole explanation and um, Vin's training was so incredible. I'm really liking this magic system so far. It is really interesting. Like, I'm enjoying this book so much and I feel like nothing really interesting has happened so I can just even imagine when like the action comes. I'm so glad that I picked this up. Okay, I, so I've read uh, quite a bit. Um, I forgot where I left off last time, um, but now I'm on page just past 325. So I believe it's kind of like the halfway point or almost at the halfway point and God, I feel like I read so slow. <laughs> well, I do, I'm not the fastest reader and I get distracted really easily. So it kind of takes me a while to kind of get into a book and like super focused, no matter how much I like it. Anyways. I am loving Vin so much. She just seems so, like, uh, innocent, but like strong in the sense she is definitely a badass, but doesn't have those like kind of obnoxious characteristics that I feel like a few badass characters usually have in some books. Um, like arrogance, she is stubborn, but I really appreciate her thoughts of um, her kind of not trusting but kind of letting it go. I just need to know how Rain comes all into this like You know, I want to like finally meet him like is he dead? I just want to know I want to find out where he's been why he left why he was like that to his sister like I Need to know I don't know why I have a feeling like someone within the crew is just going to end up being a traitor a mole something even if it's just a slight just one little thing Ugh, like I just feel like they're gonna get betrayed by someone I don't know I just have a feeling I don't know what it is I just feel like everyone in the crew is just too like perfect and mending together and I just feel like oh something's gonna go wrong even though I hope not but I just have a feeling like something like that's gonna happen Ellen is that his name Ellen right the venture dude yeah him even though with the scenes of him and Vin I'm just kind of like oh it's kind of cute deep down though i'm just like i don't trust you so <sighs> leave my girl alone it feels like a setup and vin is like going into it like maybe they know and they're trying to set her set her up play with her emotions get her to fall in love with him and he's kind of dropping hints like oh i'm one of the good guys but in actuality he's not I kind of chilled on the um, annotating because I realized I was using a lot of the sticky notes for like little details that might not even be that important and I started highlighting as well instead of underlining. I just had to make sure that I wasn't going to give this away or try to sell this book. Kind of right away I kind of knew like I'm going to keep it and I'm going to annotate it so oh yeah yesterday was thursday um i completely forgot to vlog anything i did do a lot of reading but i forgot to like do an update or anything i was just busy i had a few things to do as i do it today as well i'm gonna keep reading
woke up a little late, but got up, had breakfast, had some coffee, got ready. Oh my god, what is this hair doing? Um, later I have a family birthday parade. <laughs> it's like the alternative of a birthday party for during these COVID times. So I just wanted to get ready um, so I won't have to worry about it later. And then I can just spend the rest of the time leading up to it just reading. All I have to do left is just change my clothes and that I can just do right before we leave. So, because I prefer to read in comfy clothes. So, I really want to finish this book by Monday. So, let's see how far I get today and then I can finish it tomorrow, Sunday. So, let's go. So, it's actually the next week, but I finished the book. So, I was actually able to finish um, the book on the Sunday that I was planning to, right before my classes started. So, yay, I accomplished that. But I just didn't get the chance to wrap up um, all my thoughts about the book, so I'm finally doing that now. Oh my god, I couldn't put the book down. The only reason I actually did was because I was kind of falling asleep while reading it and then not retaining a lot of the story. So I finally decided to put it down, went to sleep, woke up on Sunday morning and just finished it. So I really, really like this book a lot. Before reading it, I assumed it was just adult fantasy, but then um, I read that they started marketing it um, as a YA, and I can definitely see why, um, but I still enjoyed it. First of all, Reen. <laughs> I don't know why at the beginning I was putting like so much like emphasis on him. I honestly thought he was going to come back like at the end and like be a part of this like huge thing so I, I i was so like i just really wanted to know how so when they finally mentioned him i was like oh that's it <laughs> but i still feel like he might come back up in like the next few books who knows i thought that someone within the crew was going to betray them which kind didn't really happen but kind of did not like willing well i thought there was like a spy within the crew that didn't happen but the part with yedin Yedin or Yedin? I say Yedin. So we're gonna go with Yedin. The part with Yedin, I was just like, that, that was him. That's it. I knew it. I knew it. Someone was just bound to do something. And then I turned the page and it was like, oh no, it was just, he thought it was the right thing to do. So I also thought Eland was like untrustworthy. Well, not, I, not like a full on prediction. It was more like I have a, like a feeling like, I don't know, because one of the things I did not like a large part of the beginning of the book um, It is set up that Vin doesn't trust people that she always feels that she feels like they're gonna betray her So even when she was already kind of well established within the um, crew, she still kind of doubted them She didn't start trusting them like right away, but with Eland he she just like all of a sudden Was like she was like a little hesitant But then all of a sudden she just trusted him and like started telling him stuff and I was just like no like what are you like oh no i legit wrote in my book no stop talking <laughs> didn't really like that aspect felt a little out of place because vin was very like not really trusting so something that i was a little surprised that i really wanted to know more about was the storyline of the lord ruler when i was reading like his log entries and then when all of the little like header um i don't know what they're called but like the pre chapter like little paragraphs and you kind of realize it was it was his thoughts um, it made me want to just know more about that time of his ascend. I think that would be a really interesting story to read. Maybe they mention it more in the next few books. I really can't wait to pick up the second book. I'm really grateful that there was not like a cliffhanger at the end. The story is definitely not finished, um, but I think the book ends on a good note where you don't feel like you need the second book like right away. And I think that's a good thing because, because I just ordered the second and third book and it might be a little bit. So but it still leaves you excited to keep reading the series. Kelsier. So throughout the book, there was just something about him that I like didn't fully like and I couldn't like, I I kind of thought about of like, he reminded me of something and then I kind of figured it out, Don Draper. <laughs> In the sense where Kelsier is like the kind of character who is really good at something, knows he's good at something and shows off because of it and kind of disregards other people's opinions um, to do 
just to do what he thinks is right. And Don Draper from Mad Men was just like that. And I didn't like that with Cal's hair. It like just made me feel like, oh my god, what are you doing? Of course, it always turned out well. And then at the end when you realize like his full on plan, um, I was just like, oh, well now I feel bad. <laughs> For like not fully liking you the entire time. I don't know, I think it's just personally I don't like those kind of characters who kind of just um other like everyone else disagrees with like a certain thing and then they think it's right so they just go ahead and do it. That just like <laughs> like I get it, there's supposed to be characters who like better than everyone else and end up being like heroes and end up just being like forgiven for whatever they're doing. But of course, I ended up just appreciating him at the end. I absolutely love Vin. Even with the whole romance with Ellen was a little bit like, yo, it's a little too fast, I don't understand. I still really like the character. I feel like she's a good combination between determined, strong, but also a regular like teenager. Like she wasn't put in like a box of like, this is the type of, of strong character you're gonna get. So. I enjoy that. I do have to say though, I really like the relationship between Vin and Kelsey. It kind of reminds me of like Anakin and Ahsoka from the Clone Wars. I'm currently watching that show for the first time, so reading this along with watching that, I was just kind of seeing the little parallels. And I love those kinds of relationships of like a mentor and mentee with like banter and just but still loving each other. And it's ah. also the ending. <laughs> I was just like, oh damn. Vin's gonna pull an Arya moment from Game of Thrones, the show, not the books. I haven't read them yet, but she didn't follow through with that, which is completely okay. I don't mind. The things that I'm most excited about for the next books is um, the politics of how they're gonna rebuild like a new, um, new like government for where they're at. Kingdom. Is it? I don't know. And also um, Vin's um, character development. I ended up giving this a five out of five stars. This is one of my new favorite books. I really, really enjoyed it, although there are some flaws with it and a, a few things that I didn't really like. I overall just loved it. And I really did enjoy Brandon Sanderson's writing. It's very easy to follow, but also very descriptive. I'm definitely gonna finish this series and read other books by him as well. Well, that is it. That is my reading, my first Brandon Sanderson book vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.